Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits again as all, almost always, almost always joined by Jakob the Lord of Wolves and today guys we're going to be looking at uh, the last of the beers I brought home from the states which is going to be a treat because I've had this on tap this is the brewery's fruit it's their newest anniversary ale which is basically their motherfucking huge old ale on 15 and a half percent now me and Jakob reviewed Cure uh, what was that? Yeah, late la or last year? Or yeah, something, like around the same time as now. No, no, I, it was like when I started growing my beard. Oh, so it's been in like November, yeah, or December or something like that. And we we're both both amazed by it. Really, I I gave it ninety five. Jakob gave gave it ninety six. And he's not really that into old ale, so we'll see about this one because I kind of like this one a little more as far as I remember. But. Uh, yeah, it says here, yeah, the thing is with fruit is that it's 100% aged, all of it is aged in bourbon barrels, whilst co our cure was only 25%. That I remember we talked about. We wanted it always. completely aged in bourbon barrels, <laughs> or barrels. Yeah. says here on the product, this sturdy beer marks our fourth year, and we are grateful for the upper, uh, out pouring of community. Together may our supporters our brewery and this beer grow in complexity and refinement over the years. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this guy thinks about this one, so yeah. let's get it cracked. <clears throat> so we got fruit poured here and I mean 15.5% is still got a head. It's yeah. kind of a sudsy bubbly head, but it's there. And it's, it's amazing though. Yeah, still. it's kind of a beige like color and it's a really really dark like kind of ruby or maroon red color yeah. i mean you you can't see through it it's almost like opaque looks like a nice old ale so yep. let's take out the aroma oh, <laughs> oh yes wow that smells so awesome wow man that bourbon is just right there with that yeah. vanilla and kind of like this butterscotch almost yeah. aroma wow dark heavy Heavy viscousy kind of caramel. Yeah, smell. really thick and viscous aroma, and a lot of that sweet sugary notes. The vanilla, like brown sugar, a little roasted note as well. Yeah, like toasted malt. The thing is, the alcohol is barely present. I, I mean, I, I can't get it. I, can't. I I get a little sensation of heat in my nostrils, but other than that, yeah, a little so very well, very well hidden. <laughs> It's so subtle. <laughs> yeah, some red grapes in there too, I'd say. Of course, dark fruits. It's got definitely got the whiskey soaked raisin mm. kind of thing going on. But wow, it's got a lot of vanilla and almost like um, like this kind of marzipan almost. Oh yeah, I just got that. Yeah, yeah. marzipan. Is, I also get like the almost like a molasses kind of room mm. on it, and it's so sweet. It's so really, really sweet. sweet. What about you? No, no trace of the alcohol and no, it's not burnt as such, but it has that roasted I think charcoal it, lingering. I think that's from the barrels, like a charred yeah. oak kind yeah. of aroma, because it's got that oaky really intense. I can't wait to try this, it smells so awesome. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> yeah, you're ready. <laughs> you're well, I'm ready. <laughs> as good Cheers. as it Cheers. Holy fucking crap, that is delicious. <laughs> I, I want to dedicate a word for this. Mouth gas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is the the alcohol is noticeable in the taste. The sweetness completely hides it. Yeah, and not even the aftertaste or no. The, you you the, actually don't even get any heat. No, or not at all. No heat at all. I mean, if you don't like sweet beers, you won't like this at all. We like the sweeter beers, so no. Pro I mean. It is a sipper because it's so big. It's a real and it leaves that glossy, sticky sensation yeah. on your lips. Nice, full, and viscous mouthfeel. Uh, and creamy, too. Um, <laughs> wow. Really good. A really nice bourbon, oaky vanilla flavor on there. What do you pick up? Well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> well, there's the, as you said, <clears throat> Vanilla, bourbon, and then you kind of get that dark prunes and dark raisins as well. Raisin, oh, uh, soaked raisin kind yeah, of Yeah, whiskey soaked raisin thing, definitely. The dark caramels there, the dark toffee. Um, also, like, that kind of charred oak yeah. quality to it. And lots of vanilla in there. But this is, a, this is so well balanced. 
It's just perfectly. Well, I don't think it's well balanced necessarily when you think of the sweetness. Oh no 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 not towards its sweetness, but you know when I talk about the, um, the uh, burnt notes or uh, uh, the barrel roasted notes and okay. the barrel notes as well. Also, I almost pick up like a cherry note and some tobacco mm. kind of almost notes in there. Um, it's, but mostly it's like all those dark fruits with the caramel and sweet vanilla like notes and yeah. sugary. It's very sugary. And like uh, the unrefined kind of Dramara cane sugar and so like just or brown sugar <clears> for that sake. Yeah. But you still get that almond marzipan kind of taste as well. Yeah. Uh, it's not as prominent as in the aroma, but it's there. Definitely. In the side of the mouth. And even 100% barrel aged cotton. I had that at the brewery for that fourth anniversary release, and I think this is better than that too. But I guess they've learned from their mistakes and all. Mm -hmm. We sipped on a little, it's a sipper, it's a big beer, but it's so good. Um, the thing is with this beer, I can't really put my finger on anything in here I dislike. Uh, I am really tempted to give this beer 100, but for the sake of the fact that they're going to release a new anniversary ale next year, I'm going to give it a 99. I love it. I mean, I can't wait to get to review uh, Black Tuesday and Chocolate Rain, because those are phenomenal too. Yeah, I'm going to give this one... Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, I totally agree with you, and this is perfect. And as I said earlier on, or a little while ago, or just now actually, that this is... I can't put anything on it, uh, a finger on it, as you said. I. There's nothing wrong with this beer at all. There's nothing wrong at all. It's if you can't, if you don't like sweet beer, this is not a beer for you. But, no, but if you like these sweeter big beers, this love it. is perfect. Uh, so, and I keep thinking about fourteenth and such, and this definitely is up there with the no, level of fourteenth. Yeah. And uh, I gave Speed Waste out a hundred, so I. And this is way better than the uh, Even though that's style. a different style. Yeah, 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 and this is the best old ale I've tasted so far, <laughs> ever. <laughs> so and you don't like old ales too nope. much, so... <laughs> but uh, yeah, 100 for me. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, that, that, that says a lot. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like old ales too much and he gives us 100. Brewery, the brewery does some fantastic beers. So yeah guys, that does it for the review of the brewery's 4th anniversary ale, Fruit. Check this beer out. Get it. Trade for it. I mean, it was easy to get when I was at the brewery's provisions. They had tons of it. Phenomenal beer. If you like the sweeter old beers. So yeah, guys, remember to let us know what you think of fruit if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.